Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. We are about to take on the console's car case. Okay, we're gonna keep this but first, short. I'm late for the if you haven't done so, first make sure you hit that subscribe button and a notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. As always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Okay, we're going. New POI, Oswald Jacobs. New clue, abandoned vehicle. A new location, Jacobs backyard. Intelligence has information on a stolen car. So we've got our new case. An abandoned vehicle. Catch all the good ones, huh, folks? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. True. It's possible. Very funny. Come on, okay. Let's, go save Let's head outside. Um, just a warning as well before we start. This episode may contain offensive language and some scenes which viewers may find disturbing and upsetting. So just to let you know that. Um, they're quite graphic with some of the crime scenes I've been told, so don't want anyone to get a, a nasty shock. So you have been you warned. Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally no show way. Compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Mikowski. I'm talking from experience. So Adrian Black, his new woman in Seattle, dumped him, and his wife took him back. Fair enough. Phelps. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. Thank you. It's abandoned in a weird place, isn't it? We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? Huh. No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. <laughs> right, okay. Let's um, take a look at the crime scene. There's a baseball bat here. Related in any way, or...? Everything here is going to be relevant. No. Apparently not. What's this? A wrench. Combination wrench. Dewey Brothers. I must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Ah, oh, okay. Fair enough. What else do we have? It's a couple of little signs over here. Oh, there's no registration. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. We've taken it off. That's bizarre. What's this? Oh, the wheels are gone. That's why he was saying about the wrench. Stealing the wheels. Well, only one amateurs. wheel. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Huh. Put it up on bricks. But they only took one wheel. That's weird. They've smashed the window as well. Missing license plate. It's owned by the Argentinian. Registration Asian. slip. So we've got the registration plate on there. So why did they take the plate off the front of the car? It doesn't really make sense. Anything in the boot? Empty. No, nothing. Just a toolkit and the spare. Is the spare tire gone as well? I think it has. That is weird. Should we try and run the license plate or whatever then? There's a phone over here. Conveniently placed. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? 
detective. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Mm. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard dealership. Six two nine. I sell packets. Got it. Huh. Thanks. Interesting. Only that type of car. Okay, should we talk to the music still going on? Have we missed anything? Oh, you put down my evidence. This is my crime scene. Should we talk to um this guy over here? Oswald Jacobs. That's right. Hello. Why is he smiling what exactly like that? Happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. Oh, he's See one of those. Lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my <laughs> window. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, Oy. last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Okay. Uh, what evidence do we have, by the way? Stolen Packard, Dewey Brothers wrench, missing license plate, missing will, registration slip. Okay, let's ask him for did a report. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Oi. I think he's telling the truth, though. Seems pretty certain. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, huh. I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> this guy is very, um... Yeah, he's just a bit of a piece of work, isn't he? Right, Hispanic suspects. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. That is a lie. A downright lie. Do we have anything... No, we don't have anything to back that up. It's a bad cop. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. God, this guy's really annoying, isn't he? Right, possible suspect vehicle. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Okay. Looks like he's telling the truth, I think. You look like the kind of guy yes. who You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red huh. paint job. Oh, okay. Red. Bright red. We should be able to um figure that out then. Right, vehicle stripped of parts. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Nah, he looks twitchy, doesn't he? Look at his mouth. He's avoiding eye contact. Did they take anything else other than the wheels? Wrench, license plates. I guess the license plate could no, I don't think so. Uh Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I think he took I something from the boot. In the glove compartment. I was oh, gonna show glove you. compartment. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. Outfits you have unlocked. Oh, oh outfits you have unlocked can be accessed from the pause when menu. You get the car out of the way? If you could come back and do something about those kids. We've got a Sword of Justice outfit. Maybe we should change outfits? I don't know. Right, here's his notebook anyway. That he took from the car. 
1947 agenda. Juan Francisco Valdez. Press X to further investigate an object. What the hell? John Madsen. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. What the hell is all this? Descriptions of people. William Contact Dewey. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business. Contact CL twenty two hundred. What the hell is going on here? Okay, the music's still going, which makes me think that there's something else going on here. Um, do we have any... We don't have anything for him, I don't think. William Dewey. Oh, Dewey Bros dealership. We do. Do we have to make another call? The phone's come up again. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen? Oh, yeah, John Madsen. He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this at about? school? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Why is he in that weird Madsen. book? Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. What's going on here? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Ah. Did you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Oh, that's weird. Thanks. It's already there. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thank you. Right, new objective. Interview one Valdez. And new location, Central can you Police Station. Lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. Still sounds like there's We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacob. Evidence and about, I'll read your doesn't it? Back at the Did we get everything? It's just trash, isn't it? Incidental. So the music's still going, though. Nothing significant. That's kind of weird. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. Well, he's saying that we need to go. But the music's still going, though. But he seems to be heading off. I guess we're going. Hopefully we haven't missed a clue or something. Alright, where should we go next? Should we go to the dealership? Or should we go to the station? I guess the guy is at the station. So we could go there. It's not too far as well, I don't think. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> Not your favorite cases? <laughs> you kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Nah, it's still police work, though. Corner Thurston Hill. 2.12 p.m. Time to interview Valdez. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this. He's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? Huh. <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep that this guy That is strange. Waiting. It's this way. Room two, did he say? Oh, he's taking us there. Ah, there we go. The gold handle. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective yep. Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? 
I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take okay. a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez, Council General, I insist on my full title. All right, jeez. Right, Packard Purchase History. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Okay. Nah, no, he looks well shifty. Look, he's not maintaining eye contact. Do we have anything that says that that's not true? Not really. I don't think we do. Bad cop. Bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. Right. It's not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Yeah, a new clue. Alleged bribery. Theft of consular vehicle. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. Yeah, we don't do that here. Um, oh, he's avoiding eye contact a bit again, isn't he? Yeah, he's lying. Do we know anything about it being stolen? I don't think we do. This is really annoying. I'm hoping we haven't missed a clue. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you? Consul General, are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. Ah. You have a name for this who's, kid? Who's the disgruntled boy? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. Okay. What's your association with Gabriel? So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run in with him Mechanic. he was in the little book wasn't he a presumptuous young man who did not know his place he presumed to ask me questions but we do a lot of presuming here in the united states consul general it comes with the turf yeah i think he knows him from the book where's the valdez's notebook i think he was in there wasn't he gabriel right at the end you fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. <laughs> that was very blunt. <laughs> well, we've got Valdez's notebook to prove it. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring me bells. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. No, there's here. no arrangements here, mate. Spill it. Beautiful, but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch. This guy should be arrested. Arrest him for, like, being a pedo, man. I can't be getting away with that. Okay, where's the way... So next up, finished with Valdez. Thank oh. God, I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Next up, I guess we're going to the car dealership. So let's get in the car. Come on, get in the car. Uh, locations. Let's go to the Dewey Bros dealership. Okay, off we go. We get up there. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. 
See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very <laughs> industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. Yes. I think that's probably accurate. Okay, here we go. Down the hill. Dealership's got to be near here, right? I'm trying to take it easier with the driving after all you guys said about it. Ooh, another landmark. LA Public Library. Well, this is miles away, this dealership, isn't it? Didn't realise it was so far away. We're not waiting for red lights and stuff, by the way. Okay, we're here. Whoops. Brakes aren't as good as I thought they were. Okay, we're here. Dewey Bros dealership, 2.33pm. We've arrived. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door and couldn't help yourself. You could see Not exactly. in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. Oh, he's William Dewey. We're investigating Dewey. the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Okay. Right. I think we can leave it there, guys, because we're out of time. So we'll follow him in the next one. Man, this case is, um, it's quite interesting, actually, isn't it? It's another abandoned car, but completely different to the last one. I'm really, really loving this game so far, I've got to say. It's really, really interesting to play. So, yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click up that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.